So I was talking with a patron the other day who has a YouTube channel where he creates explainer videos and he was talking about how he wants to create more map explainers and map animations. However, he has a very limited knowledge of Adobe After Effects. So he was asking if I could put together a tutorial that breaks down step by step how to create a very basic map. So that's what I'm gonna to be touching on in today's video. I'm gonna show you where you can find different map elements that you can then bring into Adobe After Effects to create a basic map. I'm not gonna be focusing too much on animation. Perhaps I'll create like a part two to this tutorial that'll show you how to do some basic animations, but there's a lot that goes into this, just where you can find assets and elements and then design your own um, map, almost kind of from scratch. Now all the assets and elements that I'm gonna be using in here are gonna be 100% free. And again, I'm gonna to try to break it down step by step. So it's really targeting the beginners in Adobe After Effects. If you'd like to follow along with the tutorial and download my After Effects project files, follow the link in the video description and check out my Patreon page. Big shout out to my tier three patrons. You have Simon over at The Track Record on YouTube, Joseph Culligan, Samir Mahdi, Tyson, the key master, and Mike and Sandra over on YouTube at Flumi Plus One. Thank you so much folks for making this video possible. For the first step, I'm gonna download all of the assets. So first I wanna get the map of the country. So I'm over here at freevectormaps.com and I'm gonna search Iraq because this patron is gonna be doing a lot of map animations of Iraq and Iran. Okay, so there's a couple of different options here. I'm gonna grab this single color, and right here you can see that you can download it for free as long as um, you know you apply the proper attribution. So I'm gonna download this. Now I wanna get a texture, something that I can you know stylize it. So I'm gonna go over to this website called pexels.com and type in paper texture. And then I can grab this texture right here, just quickly download this. And one of the first animations that my patron wants to create is to show like gas and petroleum locations inside of Iraq. So I'm gonna go to Icon Finder and we're gonna grab some icons. I'm gonna type in oil. And then on the left here, I'm gonna search by free. So these will all be free. And you can see there's a bunch of different options here. I'm gonna grab this one here and I can choose the size as well as SVG or PNG. I'm gonna stick with PNG because that'll automatically upload and now I'm going to need a reference map of a rack and this is just to when I create my cities and place them I want to have a reference map that I can just overlay and use it to position those or geo reference them so I'm going to do a rack map okay and I'll grab this one here and the licensing for this one doesn't matter so I'm just going to download this this is just again going to be for reference it's not going to be in the final animation all right, so I have all these basic assets. So I'm gonna grab the reference map, the icon and the paper texture. Let's bring those in to the project here. And then I'll go back and I'll grab, this is the folder of all the assets for my country map. I'm gonna grab the AI file. This is Adobe Illustrator and I can drag this in. Now I can merge this all together or I can choose a specific layer. I'm just gonna go grab a rock. Again, if you didn't pay for this, you need to import the copyright and make sure you put that in the lower third as well as in your video description. I'm gonna click OK and this will import this now. Now I'm gonna go and click on this little button. It says create new composition. And under preset, I'm gonna go and just do like Ultra HD 4K. And I will call this a rock base map. And just to keep things tidy, I'm gonna create a folder. It's called assets. And I'm gonna grab all of these and put them in there. Everything except for the comp. All right, now I'm gonna grab this Adobe Illustrator file. This is our map. I'm gonna drop it on here. Now you can see I have this little shape. I'm gonna scale this up by holding shift and scaling it up. Now what I wanna do is I wanna create a shape layer from this. So shape layers in After Effects are much easier to work with and you can apply a bunch of different animators to them and they're just really versatile. So to do this, I'm gonna right click on the vector file and go to create, create shapes from vector layer. And now you see it created this new layer here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the AI layer and just delete it. And then I'll grab this one and I'll rename it. You rename it just by hitting enter. And now I can grab this, scale it up. So now I have this basic map. Now I'm gonna grab my reference map and I'm gonna put this over top here and I'm gonna grab it, scale it up. And what I wanna do here is I'm gonna open up the transformation properties and I'm gonna turn down the opacity so I can see through it. And now what I wanna do is I just wanna position this so that it is over, well, it's already a pretty good scale there. Normally you'd need to scale it a little bit so that you can kind of match the borders up. And now what I wanna do with this is I'm gonna use this to create the, the city icons and the city text. 
Now I can just lock these layers so I don't accidentally move them. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use uh, shape layers to draw little icons for the cities and then I'll add text after that. So first let's do Baghdad. For that, I'm gonna go over here and grab the star tool. So you go over to the shape tool and you just click and hold and then you can see star tool. And then make sure you specify your fill and stroke options. I'm just gonna go with a white solid. What you can actually do is just double click and that's gonna create a big star right here. Actually, I'm gonna click on the shape layer, hit enter to rename it, and we'll call this Baghdad. And with the layer selected, I'll click on this again and I'll scale it, holding shift to constrain the proportions. And now I'll place this right over here. And now I'm gonna go grab the ellipse tool and we'll just use an ellipse for, uh, for these other cities. Now I'm gonna click and drag and I'll hold shift. And to center this up, this is kind of a quirk with these, you just open up the transformation properties of the ellipse group and under position, just make sure you zero that out and that's gonna put that in the middle and now I can grab it here and I can just start to place this over some cities here. So let's do this one and we can rename it. And then I'm gonna hold control and hit D to duplicate and then I'll grab it here. We'll do Fallujah, rename. And then I'm just gonna repeat this process for a couple of cities. Now I'm gonna turn off the reference and these, these shapes are actually still looking a little big so I'm gonna go grab all of them just the circular ones. And I'm gonna type in the keyword size and that'll bring up the size attribute of all of these. And what I can do is I can grab them and do like 35. All right, now if I turn off the reference image, you see I've got all the little locations here. Now what I wanna do is add uh, text to these as well. So for text, I'm gonna go grab the text tool and let's zoom in here, let's go do Baghdad first. So I'm gonna click right here and then I'm gonna type out the word Baghdad. I'll pick a size, let's do, with the character panel open here, I'm gonna do like 30, and now I can kind of position this. Under paragraph, I can do alignment, so I can do left aligned, right aligned, or center. For Baghdad, I'll just do left aligned. And now what I can do is simply duplicate these, it's the same. I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna right align this one, and then we'll quickly do uh, Fallujah. And we're gonna make this one a little bit smaller. So let's do 25 for this one. And then for Baghdad, let's like actually make it a little bit bigger, maybe 45. I'm gonna quickly turn off the reference image to see how this looks before I start duplicating all of them. Okay, now let's go ahead and do all these. Okay, so that's done. All right, now I've got all the map city icons as well as the text, so let's turn off this. And there you go, now you can see how this looks. Now to keep things neat, I'm gonna full screen this timeline here using the tilde key. If you hover your cursor over a panel and then you hit the tilde key, it should full screen that panel. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grab all of these and just to keep things nice, I'm gonna hold Control Shift, hit C. It's, this is called a pre-comp. This is basically grouping all these layers. I'm gonna type in cities, text, click OK. And now for these symbols, do the same thing, pre-comp this cities, markers, and that keeps everything nice and neat. Now you can see I can toggle these on and off. Now I'm gonna go and grab our paper texture, and I'm gonna drag this to the bottom. And I'm gonna grab it, whoops, I don't wanna grab that, so I'm gonna actually lock off cities and markers. I'm gonna grab our paper texture. Now I can manually like scale this up, but you'll see it's a different, it's a different size than our comp. So I'm gonna right click on it, and do transform, and you have fit to comp, but I wanna do fit to width, because I want it to, if you fit to comp, it's going to warp it and scale the width different from the height, so we wanna fit to width, and then you see it maintains the proportions. But this looks terrible, it's not, you know, we need to blend it now. So we're gonna blend it using these blend modes here. If you can't see this column, you just toggle this button here, and it's gonna to toggle in between these. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna grab Iraq, the base map here. So maybe I'll rename this Iraq country just so we can see what's what here. And I'm gonna click here and you have all these different options. I'm gonna go click on overlay. Now it's not very strong here, so I'm gonna grab it again. And then up here in fill, I can change the color of this. So I'm gonna click on this and then I'll just bring this down to pure black. And now check that out. We've got, let's look and blend. It's blending much better. You can see the texture now. And now for these cities, what you can do, unlock this, and you can do the same thing with both cities and just overlay. And you can actually go here and go to effects and presets and type in fill, and just drop a fill on one of these, 
and this is going to change its color of all these. So this is these are the text elements, and now I can drag around and test out uh, different, you know, different, if you want to do a black or if you want to do something a bit brighter with that overlay, you know, you can play around with it. But I'll go ahead and click cancel, and I'll delete the fill, and just leave it as is right now. I think maybe if we go to the country map, we can turn the opacity down to maybe like 80, and that'll make that text pop out a little bit. Let's undo, redo. And now I can add another text element, a big one, and type in Iraq, and then, you know, just crank it. Uh, we wanna make it left aligned. Crank, 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 and then grab here. And then one way to just test out blend modes is to hold shift and hit plus. And that's just gonna, that's just gonna start to cycle through all the blend modes. And then you can find one uh, that you're happy with. You could just, just just a quick way to see like which one's looking good. And I'm still happy with overlay. Overlay is still looking uh, pretty good here. If this is what you want. And now I can go back to project. And if I want to add, you know, if we want to start to add some stuff to this map, I can grab like the oil tank, this icon. I can drop it on here and bring this down. And I can switch this to overlay as well if I want. And you see it's black, it's not really doing much of anything. So I can go back again and I can grab a fill. I can add that here. And then you can switch it to uh, you know whatever kind of color you want. If you want it to follow like the same theme as all these others. And naturally I don't know where these go, so let's just um, you know start to duplicate these. And there you have it. There is a quick base map. Now I created this really quickly, but you know, I would go in and change some of this text a little bit, maybe make it pop more, and you can't, it's not really, the readability is not perfect, so you'd wanna play with this. But this is a good uh, start. We, we at least have something here, and now I, I, you know, I can keep everything nice and neat. So every week or every time that you're publishing a video, you can come in here and just uh, duplicate the project, animate it, and you're good to go. And you know, this little coffee stain is kind of bothering me, so let's, uh, let's grab our, this. And I uh, just want to kind of get rid of that. And once again, if you want a copy of this After Effects project file, go check out my Patreon. There's a link in the video description as well as a link right here. As always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, 